Just wasting your money going to turn out broke. Yeah, yeah, fit in the timing. That's good. My name's Mandy Hargraves, and I'm the Year Seven coordinator at Centralian Middle School. Our school runs from Year Seven to Year Nine, and we're the only government uh, middle school in Alice Springs. And in Year Seven, we have approximately 100 kids from really diverse backgrounds. Around about 70, 73 percent Indigenous Australians. We also have several. Um, students from overseas and many kids um, who f for them English is a second language. My approach to behaviour management is to be firm, fair and consistent. I guess they're the, the really key elements. Uh, when I'm starting out with a new class we sit down and, and I discuss my expectations and how they fit in with the expectations of society because school is a microcosm of society so they need to be realistic and meaningful and I discuss them in a way that kids can relate to. How can I be fair to myself? Don't procrastinate. Don't put off doing things. When I've clearly established my expectations and how we operate safely in the classroom, I make sure that I enforce those um, expectations. So acknowledging when kids are doing the right thing and also gently guiding students when, and reminding them about our expectations. Today's lesson is the second in a series of workshops that we'll be doing with the students across the school. It's implementing our school-wide positive behaviours policy and specifically looking at the use of rap music to uh, explore our school values of respect, responsibility and fairness. Today what we're looking at is how to construct the verses and so we're using a matrix where they can start to develop ideas around um, the words for their song lyrics. To make a choice to choose. Responsibility and fairness. Start to think and don't be careless. Each other's what you gotta do. Then for you to make a choice to choose. Hip hop's an incredibly engaging uh, way of working with the kids. They're just they love it, it's, it's their thing, it's not my thing, but it's their thing and they love it uh, and I respect that. They are really imaginative with, with, with their lyrics and I think it, it's, it empowers them and it helps them have ownership of, of those values and they find ways of actually expressing it and giving real meaning, meaning to the values. The critical thing with behaviour management is active supervision. You don't wait till something goes wrong almost anticipating when they're going to lose focus and then providing a change of activity or um, a, a positive comment is enough to sometimes, oh, keep them on task. That's awesome, that's awesome, well done. Would you like to hear the track that you did? Ashley dropped it in this morning, so would you like to hear? But if you do that consistently, you win. You know, there's very, very few um, situations where you're not able to turn things around and, and, and work with kids. And, uh, you know, we want them to be here. We can't teach them if they're not here. That's the other thing that's really important is that being a part of the community. And that's developed over time and years. It's your connections with their families. We're in a small community, so those connections are really, really important, not just with the kids, but with their families. You can't separate behaviour management from academic learning and it all co comes back to the individual. So my chief um, goal, I guess, is to build self-esteem and confidence in kids, make them feel good about themselves so that they're better able to learn. What strategies do you adopt to ensure that students are engaged in their learning? How might routines and expectations need to be adapted to take account of the physical, social and intellectual development of students.